Hi there, Adam here. Today we're going to use the microcontroller kit to look at some smart rides that you might see in amusement parks or the Royal Show. This microcontroller project demonstrates how we can use programming to automate constructed models of common amusement ride attractions seen in theme parks and at city, regional and rural local shows. Many modern rides are based on a traditional design. They rotate around a central point which is powered by a rotating motor. While many use one rotation point, some more modern rides have two rotation points. Modern rides are also programmed to carry out an operation sequence that focuses on the timings of actions, durations, and speed of the ride. In creating scale models of these types of rides, we can use the microcontroller and the components in the kit to construct a ride just as it would appear and operate at a theme park or show. This project uses these components of the microcontroller kit the micro bit, the microcontroller shield, the 360 servo motor, and the LED strip. The project consists of three small challenges leading to the main learning challenge. Challenge one, coding of the microcontroller and elements. Challenge two, construction of a model of a ride incorporating the microcontroller and elements. Challenge three, construction of a ride incorporating more advanced coding. Main challenge, construction of a ride using two servo motors as part of the microcontroller elements. Connect the components used from the microcontroller kit. Note that the servo is attached to the shield via pin P0. The LED strip is attached to pin P2. The initial code will focus on having the servo start, run for a duration and then stop. The LED strips will be coded to light up and flash. Instructions and examples of the code can be found on the stem.t4l learning library resource page. When writing the code, be sure to have each element separated. Using cardboard as a construction material, I have built a pendulum style ride similar to what you would find at most shows or theme parks. You could also use a CAD drawing program and 3D printer to design and construct your components. This particular design is version three of my original idea. By using design thinking described by the iSTEM process, you can develop your original idea and continue to improve your concept and project. By mounting the servo motor into the structure, we can achieve the goal of having the pendulum turning. Make sure that the model is weighted or held down prior to starting to prevent overbalancing. Find a way to mount the LED strip so that it doesn't affect the turning of the ride, like I have in this example. The next challenge focuses on more advanced coding of the ride you have constructed. Program the microcontroller so that the LED strip and the sound match the start and stop of the ride. You may also want to experiment with coding the LED strip so that each LED runs a color sequence that moves the LEDs. The main challenge will require you to use two servo motors in the construction of your ride. In addition to the coding from challenge three, the main goal is to add the extra servo to work independently of the other motor while being programmed by the same microcontroller. There is an example of a code that enables this to occur on the resource page for this learning challenge in the stem.t4l learning library. This replicates the function of a lot of modern rides at shows and theme parks. This example demonstrates the servos running two independent arms in different directions through the same coded program. If you would like to learn how to complete this activity, please jump onto the stem.t4l library. Use the link t4l.link/stem 
to learn more about Microcontroller Kit and the learning challenges. Teachers, please share your projects on the STEM.T4L Yammer community or the STEM.T4L Facebook group. So get designing and constructing. We look forward to seeing what you guys create in your classroom learning.